The hum in Humming Puppy has become such a, a unique aspect of what we do. And so Arup have been um, integral in creating our studios um, to be really unique and very different. The concept for Humming Puppy was really a collaborative venture between myself and my co-founder and partner Chris Koch. So we decided to open our first studio in Paran, which is in Melbourne, as a way to prove our concept. And through that process we thought, well, we really want to bring in the sound elements. We've never had experience with this before, so how do we uh, get it right? And we came across Arup and discovered that they were the world's leading acoustic engineers, and we thought, why not work with the best in the business to create our very unique concept. So Arab were involved in both the acoustic and audio visual design of the original Shala and the idea was to be able to promote that very low frequency hum and have a very immersive experience when you walk into the Shala, have appropriate sound insulation and acoustic treatment to promote that experience. Both Chris and Jackie came into our sound lab in Melbourne brought in their crystal Himalayan singing bowls and we detuned that to 40 hertz to be the, the fundamental tone. And we also uh, included an amplitude modulation of 7.83 hertz, which is the grounding resonance of the earth. In addition to that, we also incorporated an element which was approximately 12 cycles per minute, which corresponds to uh, the period of an ocean wave, but also a uh, human at rest. So somebody with a, with a breathing cycle of somebody who's asleep or at rest. So increasingly at Arup, we're moving away from a traditional acoustic engineering approach of, of simply trying to minimise noise and, and reduce unwanted sounds. We're really delving more into this space of experience like we did with Humming Puppy. 